the Big Movie Mouth Off, sponsored by Greywell Entertainment. We're here today at Ruby Cinema Pub to review more movies. I'm Jeff Weiss from Radio From Hell, X96. And I'm Jimmy Martin with Slug Magazine. Uh, our next movie is Easy A, a comedy, high school comedy, very loosely based on The Scarlet Letter. Basically, the idea is a not-so-popular high school teen is exploiting the fact that she's now got a bad reputation. Let me just begin by saying that there are two sides to every story, and this is my side, the right one. I used to be anonymous, a nothing, a non-entity. Olive, that's your name, right? Yeah, uh, we've had nine classes together since kindergarten. Mm -hmm. So here it is, part one. But this bad girl, by the way, is played by Emma Stone from Z Zombieland, who I'm gonna say this right now, I think she's a star in the making, I really do. She's she really got is. presence and she's funny. And I love it because she can play anything from a, a, a mid to later 20s, and, and she plays a high school in this one, and it's, it's still believable. Do you want to go out with me? Brandon, just a couple hours ago, you told me you were gay. You said I should pretend to be straight. I didn't mean with me. I am tormented every day at school. Just one good imaginary fling. Which brings us to part two. Is that Olive with Brandon? No grunt and make it convincing. Oh. Stop, stop. Oh, my goodness, stop. You ready for the grand finale? Yeah. What? Oh! Yeah! Thank you. What's up? Yeah! I always thought that pretending to lose my virginity would be a little more special. Judy and Blue she's still a good looking high schooler. That sounds really bad. But. <laughs> yeah, you did sound a little pervy there. Yeah, right? a little pervy. You know what? She's fantastic in this. Her, she, not only can she do drama, but she can do uh, comedy really well. To Bath and Body Works. Is that how much our imaginary trust meant to you? I fake rocked your world. We need to pray for her, but we also need to get her the hell out of here. Amen. And this film has both, and, and shockingly so. It, it's it's smart. If if I can liken this to uh, any other comedies, it's sort of that high school. A uh, clueless, ten things I hate about you vibe, which that's exactly what I thought. Yeah, I, and this film knows its influences. There's can't buy me love in there too. There's ten things I hate about you, uh, and when I mention that, it's got the sort of smart-ass parents characters too, played by Stanley Tucci, Patricia Clarkson, uh, Thomas and Hayden Church is a teacher in it. But those parents, uh, they, every scene that they're in, they steal the show. No judgment, but you kind of look like a stripper. Mom. A high-end stripper for governors or athletes. And it's every parent that any kid would ever want to have with their complete trustworthy and liberal-minded, you know, like, oh, just do whatever you want to do and it's okay. Like, you know, get in trouble, have a little fun, you know? And they're, and it's funny. And, and Stanley Tucci, Oh, I mean, like, he, I can't go wrong with him. I love him. He's so good in everything he does. Yeah, but when we say that, the fact that Emma, this is still Emma Stone's movie, this is her star vehicle, and she knocks it out of the park. She really she does. Is, she's got real presence. I had a similar situation when I was your age. I had a horrible reputation. Why? Because I slept with a whole bunch of people, mostly guys. Mom! There's a higher power that will judge you for your indecency. Tom Cruise. When I saw her young, I thought she looked a little like Lindsay Lohan, who who never lived up to her promise. I hope Emma Stone lives up to her promise, because this is the step in the right direction. Learn from somebody else's mistakes and, and <laughs> right off into the sunset, yes. because she can do it. She's got the talent. Um, this film, what I love about this film is uh, it's hilarious in, from beginning to end. And, and it, like you said, it references these 80s comedies. Like John Hughes would, would love it, you know, just looking down and seeing what how they're referencing his old films and the classic Breakfast Club and um, Sixteen Candles, like it's it's just a great homage to, to what he's created. But what I love it's it's intelligent. It's it, these teen comedies don't have to be completely full of fart jokes and gratuitous nudity. They can actually have a brain to it, which right. is what I love about it. Right, and when this, when I say that this acknowledges uh, things like Ten Things I Hate About You" or or say any, anything, it acknowledges them without the beat you over the head. Oh, look at how clever we are! Uh, yeah, uh, the sort of thing. This this is a smart movie with good characters and surprisingly a good message. It, it's a very good message, and it, like you said, good, not only good characters but memorable characters. Every character who walks on the screen, you'll remember something about that character well after the credits. Yeah, like it, like her friends, her parents, her herself. 
it's all good. I mean, I, you know what? I'm not a big Amanda Bynes fan, but her playing the, the conservative elitist uh, who is shunning Emma Stone's character for her provocative ways, it's still fun. Like, you know, I, I love her. Even though her head now resembles a giant peach. It's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed Easy A much more than I thought I would have. I, I gave it three stars. You know, it's one of those films for me that came out of nowhere that I wasn't expecting much. But when I left, I got a whole lot more than I thought I'd get, and so I give it three and a half stars. 